Okay. Good morning, children. Today we're doing an experiment to find the current flowing through a resistance and to convert from milliamps to amps. Before we start, I'm going to explain what the various instruments are for this experiment. This blue box here is a battery box. A battery is made up of many individual cells. It has a switch here which you put on. You can see the light when it's on and off. It's got a black terminal which is the negative and it's got a red terminal which is the positive. So this is the battery. This instrument here where it's written MA is the milliammeter. It is used to detect current. So this is the milliammeter. Again, red is the positive and black is the negative. Here we have two resistance boxes. They have no positive and negative, but each resistance box has two terminals. This is the key. The key also has no positive and negative, but the key has two terminals. Now, this is an open key. When the key is not put in, it's an open key where the connection is not made. And this will be a closed key when the key is put in. Now, the wires that we use, they are of different colors. Whether they are red or black or green or blue, the color of the wire is not tell you whether it's positive or negative. It can be of any color, the wire. So once again, what do we need? We need a battery, we need a milliammeter, we need two resistances, we need a key and we need connecting wires. Now before you start the experiment, you have to draw the circuit diagram and call the examiner to correct it. Now, we start with the battery. Battery is made up of many cells. One cell is made up of a long line and a short line where the long line is the positive and the short line is the negative of the cell. So for a battery, we draw normally three cells. So near the long line, we'll write a positive and near the short line, we draw a negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. The positive of the battery is always connected to the positive of the milliammeter. So positive of the battery is connected to the positive of the milliammeter. The negative of the milliammeter is connected to the resistance. Now, we draw resistance like this. It looks like mountain peaks, but they're not very high. And you cannot draw them any. They should be all the same size. So this is the resistance. It has no positive negative. The other end of the resistance is connected to the key. Remember, you have to draw a closed key. From this side of the key, the wire again goes to the negative of the battery. And now my circuit is complete. But you need to draw arrows in the circuit diagram. And arrows always go from the positive to the negative. Draw at least three arrows in your circuit diagram. Now what is the table? The table says use two resistances A and B. Calculate the current in milliammeters, which I'll show you, and convert the current from milliamps to amps. And this is the end of the experiment. In the exam, you will get only one resistance. Now, I'm going to start the connections for this experiment. This wire, which is connected to the battery, has to be put into the socket, and you have to put the switch on. First step. Second step, if you look at the di circuit diagram, the positive of the battery is connected to the positive of the ammeter. Now I told you red is the positive of the battery. This is a crocodile clip. You just have to open it like this and connect it to the positive of the milliammeter, which is this one. So just press the crocodile clip and release it. It gets connected automatically. The negative of the milliammeter is connected to the resistance. So from the milliammeter, I take a wire. Now how do I attach the wire? I lift this up, I put the wire around it and then I tighten this again. So this is connected to the negative 
and this side it will be connected to a resistance box any side of the resistance box again I lift up this knob I put this wire around and I close the knob again so this is my connection from the negative of the milliammeter to the resistance I take another wire I connect from the other end of the resistance to the key so I take this end of the resistance I lift this up I put the wire around and then I tighten it the wire should be tight and from this end of the resistance I connect to the key this is the key I lift one knob up I take the wire put it around and I close the knob and finally the other side of the key goes to the negative of the battery now this negative of the battery is the black knob here it has a crocodile clip so I just raise this knob and I attach the crocodile clip like this once again I'll show you the circuit so put the switch on at the back and then this is the battery positive of the battery to positive of the milliammeter negative of the milliammeter to the resistance other end of the resistance to the key, other end of the key to the negative of the battery. Now we will see the reading when I put on the switch. So put this switch on, put this switch on. And you will see that there is a deflection in the milliammeter. Now how do you take the reading? 0 and 50. So your answer should be between 0 and 50. Now how do we calculate it? What is the difference between 0 and 50? 0, 50 minus 0 is equal to 50. And how many divisions are there between 0 and 50? If you count very carefully, you will find between 0 and 50, there are 10 divisions. So, what is 1 division equal to? 50 divided by 10 which gives you the answer of 5. So each division has a count of 5 milliampere. Now we are going to check and see how many divisions this needle is pointing to. According to me, it's pointing to the fifth division. So if one division is 5 milliampere, how much will be 5 divisions? 5 into 5, which will be 25. So my reading here will be 25 milliammeters. Now I need to connect, convert that milliammeters to ammeters. Ampere, sorry, milliampere to ampere. How do I do that? 25 milliamps divided by 1000 will give me the answer in amps. Now how many zeros do we have here? 3. I move my decimal 3 places. 1, 2, 3 and I get an answer 0 point I put a zero, here, 0 2 5 amp so 25 milliamps will be equal to 25 divided by 1000 because there are three zeros here I move the decimal three places and I get 0 point 0 2 5 amps so in the column you would have written uh, A, 25 milliamps and in the ampere column you would have written 0 0.025 amps. So children, in your observation table, the first reading will be current in milliamperes where we had got 25 milliamperes. We converted to amperes 25 divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.025 amps. Now for the exam you need to do only one reading, only one resistance. But I am going to show you how to do another one so that you have practice on how to do another example. But in the exam you have only one reading, it's a short experiment, you will have only one reading. So what should you do? I will remove this resistance, before that I will put off switch 
I will remove the resistance and I will substitute this resistance with another resistance. I will again lift this, put the wire around and tighten this knob. Lift this knob, put this wire around and then tighten this knob. Now I will put on the main switch and I will put on the switch of the battery. Now you can see that the milliamps on the ammeter is showing a different reading from the first. Now how did I tell you? How do you check the reading? What is the difference between the two divisions 0 and 50? So 50 minus 0 is equal to 50. How many divisions are there between 0 and 50? There are 10 divisions between 0 and 50. So 50 divided by 10, each division is equal to 5 milliamps. Now, in this case, my needle is pointing to the 9th division. Please check. The needle is pointing to the 9th division. Now, if one division is 5 milliamps, 9 divisions will be 5 into 9 is equal to 45 milliamps. So in the book I will write my reading of the resistance is 45 milliamps. How do I convert 45 milliamps into amps? I divide by 1000. How many zeros are there in 1003? I move this three decimal places 1, 2, 3, put a point, and my answer is 0 0.04. 5 amps. So I have converted 45 milliamps into amps and the answer is 0 0.045 amps. So the second reading I will write 45 milliamps. Here I'll write 45 divide by 1000 is equal to 0 0.045 amps. So you will be given only one resistance, but I've shown you how to do two readings in case you have some different readings in your exam. Now, what is the, this is the observation table. What is the conclusion? Current flowing in resistance A is 0 0.025 ampere. Current flowing in resistance B is 0 0.045 amperes. So this is... These two conclusions in the exam you have to do only one conclusion because you have only one reading. Thank you children.